in movies like Hell's Angels on Wheels, Mad Max, The Wild One and many more, the MC members have been portrayed as the rough and ruthless beings who live and die on the wheels, curse way too much, drink a lot of beer and spend most of their life on the road. I am not denying the fact in most of the cases even our stories regarding their brutal activities so far will support the same theory. But let me tell you one thing, these movies also stereotype the members of the 1% of MCs. The outlaw world is a whole universe in itself. Here, you'll meet multiple different personalities, and when you try to understand them and the layers of their crooked brains, it would seem crazier than the multiverse of madness. Let us give you a little sneak peek into the world. Today, I am going to tell you about the 8 different kinds of MC members you will find in any biker gang. Number 1. The Image Guy there will always be one guy in the Mincees who would love the smell of the leather of their jacket and the shades of their jeans as much as they love their bike. They always have a crowd of ladies and a few MC members surrounding them, following them wherever you go. You know the certain craze women have towards bad boys? Yeah, that's them. The patches on them is not just for an identification. They use them as their pride and glory and also to create an image of a badass biker. And that definitely works. When women see one of these image guys casually leaning on their bikes at a gas station or beside the road, their raw magnificent aura attracts them. Although, gaining the attention of women is not the only reason they maintain their image, the ultimate reason behind their intimidating image is to create fear and respect amongst others with a little nod of, that's right. I am a one percenter, and I have a whole brotherhood behind me to protect myself from any trouble. Number 2. The Billboard Guy these guys are the ones who look like a mascot. A club patch is necessary to wear, but when you see someone wearing the club patch a little too much on his jacket, t-shirt, cap, shows, that's a little unnatural and not quite needed. If you see someone doing that, it either means that they love the club a little too much or is too afraid to live without an identification mark that proves that they belong to the 1% of crew. Usually, they are the guys you won't think of as an NC member without the club trademark on them. Apart from the club, they usually don't have a strong identity and their whole life revolves around their motorcycle club. Number 3. The Nomad In a motorcycle club, there will always be this guy who's quite aloof from the others around him. Be it in a club meeting or at an outing, they will always sit all by themselves, covered in the smoke of their cigar. People may think that they are rude or intimidating, but the truth is that either they are introverts or are just trying to quiet the demons inside their head. You will be shocked to know, back in the days when the war veterans used to join the motorcycle clubs after returning from war, a lot of them used to be like that, since they had seen and done things they'd rather not talk about. The reason they are called the nomads is because they might be physically at one place, but their minds are wandering at multiple different places at that time. Just like any other social setups, nomads are often misunderstood in any biker gang. Their fellow gang members confuse their silence and solitude as an act of thinking too much of themselves. They are often considered arrogant ones. Number 4. The life of the party. When they step inside your club for a gathering, club meeting or just for a regular day, their smile lights up the place a bit more. The brothers usually cheer for them, every bartender of the town loves them, they have got the craziest stunts that everyone wants to learn. They actually P0 portray a positive outlook and give the club a boost, because the outlaws MCs who usually join the clubs for right reason, join there to be surrounded by the life of the party. They have the leadership quality, they create the reasons for which the clubs still exist. A brother like this is usually loud, cheerful, and the one who protects not only his, but the energy of others around them. Number 5. The Politician there are a few members who are strongly articulated and knowledgeable, not only about the outlaw world, but the world in general. They are well versed regarding the worldwide political scenario. They keep a tab on the ones in the high chairs. They know in and out of the law and order so that they can bend them in their way if the brotherhood faces trouble. They help the entire gang to get their way with minimal punishment and jail time when they are involved in a criminal activity. They mostly try to shape the club in their ideology and image and secretly wish to become the club president someday. They are usually the president's right hand in an MC. They are constantly complaining about the things they don't like. And one major problem about this is the politicians are usually the ones who end up breaking the club. The outlaw history says they are so engrossed in gaining the power that they even don't hesitate to eliminate competition by assassinating other members, even sometimes the president. 
Number 6. The Old Ones. They are usually called the seniors of a motorcycle club. They pass on the legacies to the new joinees. They might not be holding a very active role in present days, but they are the ones who have been around from almost the beginning of the club. There are two kinds of elderlies, the Ogs and the Oats. The Ogs are the ones who built the legacy, rode on most of the roads, were responsible for all legal and illegal endeavors. The Oats are the ones who rode alongside of them, by being the helping hand they need. The MC members respect both kinds of old ones because they are the ones who created the base. Number 7. The Cancer. The ones with the most selfish and shadow-minded fall into this category. They are the honest, always choosing violence, shouting at their fellow brothers, always finding a reason to indulge in illegal activities, always bringing trouble back home. They are the cancers which can be the end of a motorcycle club. But surprisingly, they create such a dominance with their rough attitude that not only they last long, but the whole gang starts going down his path slowly. Number 8. The Biker Guy in the end, there will always be this one guy who won't like anything more than the bikes and the rides. They won't care about politics or the black money that comes from illegal activities, even they won't like wasting time talking about stuff other than riding during the meetings. Do you think the type of people in the MC world also can be found in real life around us? Let us know in the comment section below.